your discretion is advised. Someone is purposely putting out misinformation about this case involving Malia Davis to create confusion and discourse. I am going to try to help people understand this case by giving a timeline of the events that happened with Malia. July the 10th, 2018, Little Malia was brought in the hospital after she was vomiting up small amounts of blood, which means some type of internal bleeding. Maybe the baby was punched in the stomach or something, but that's the first sign of abuse coming from the family. The same month, on the 29th, she was brought back into the hospital for an unexplained head injury where the mother said that she fell from a tall chair onto a marble table. Now this is where some misinformation comes in because you have one news outlet saying that Craig was in the home when these abuses were taking place. You have another news outlet that is saying that Darian was in the home when these abuses were taking place. But according to Darren and Brittany, they have been a couple for more than a few years. So Craig was not in the home during the time that these abuses were taking place. Now, according to CPS, Vince, not Craig, but Vince, was in the home during the time of Malia's head injury. And she said that he was in the bathroom and didn't actually see what happened. So according to these news sources, it was Vince, not Craig, who was in the home during the time that Malia had this head injury. Because remember, they said that they had been a couple for more than a few years. Now we're going to fast forward to 2019. When you have some people claiming that Brittany Bowens killed her daughter and that her daughter was dead before she left to go to Massachusetts. But that is all a lie. Brittany Bowens left Texas to go to Massachusetts on the 30th of April and did not return until the 3rd of May. And they have surveillance photos showing Malia alive after her mother was dropped off at the airport. The Houston Police Department has confirmed that Brittany Bowens flew to Massachusetts on the 30th of April and returned to Houston on the 3rd of May. Malia was alive when her mother was dropped off at the airport that morning. But that day was the last day we ever saw Malia again. This surveillance photo was taken at 7.54 a.m. after Darian dropped off Brittany at the airport and clearly you can see Malia alive. So how could Brittany have killed her? An hour later, Vince is seen in surveillance photos walking to his car alone. So he must have put the kids in the house and came back outside and went to his car for whatever reasons. On May the 3rd, at 1.40 p.m., way before Brittany arrived back in Houston, surveillance photos again show Darren carrying a large laundry basket with a large black trash bag in it. Five hours later, surveillance photos capture Vince and his son, Benoma Malia, 
leaving the apartment again. He has bottles of bleach in his hand. And this is about the same time he said he was going to pick up Brittany from the airport. And it was during this trip to the airport that Darren said that he was accosted by three Hispanic men. Now this is when the story becomes unbelievable. When he says that while driving to the airport, he hears a popping noise. He pulls a car to investigate. And when he gets out the car to investigate, three Hispanic men in a blue truck pull up right behind him. He thinks that they're going to assist him. But they have something more sinister and planned. They look in the car and see Malia. And they decide to take Malia. But in the event of taking Malia, they got to take Darren and his son too. So a fight breaks out. Wasn't much of a fight because he said he got knocked out. And they knocked him out so to where he was in and out of consciousness for one whole day. Then they let him out. He says he wakes up on the side of the road somewhere, him and his son, and it was around six o'clock, he says. So he wanders around, trying to flash people down, till finally he decides to take out walking to the hospital, which is a mile away, but it took him five whole hours to get there. So he gets to the hospital to take care of his injuries, he says. But his child was not injured in his whole ordeal. He didn't suffer dehydration or some rash from having a spa diaper on for a whole day. The child was okay. It was on events that was received some life-threatening scratches. After he receives treatment for his life-threatening scratches, Darren decides to get out of sight for a little while. This is when things really start to get bad for Darren. Because the police said they were looking for him, but Brittany knew where he was, and his family knew where he was. The police wanted to have him come down for some questioning. He wouldn't come. And that brings on some type of suspicion. Because why aren't you cooperating? They were able to locate the car, check the car out, brought the cadaver dogs in, and the dogs picked up on the scent of a decomposing body. So then they had no choice but to bring Darren in. They went to the apartment and they saw that the apartment had recently been cleaned. So they brought in their forensic experts and they were able to find traces of Malia's blood in the hallway and in the restroom. So since Darren has been arrested, Mums has been the word. There has been misinformation coming from both sides. I can understand why, because don't nobody want to end up in prison for the rest of their lives. That's the reason Brittany has changed her story. That's the reason everyone that used to be associated with them are now distancing themselves from this particular family. I know that 
Brittany Bourne's is nothing less than a damn fool. But if anyone can prove to me how she killed her child when there's proof that she was not here, that her child was alive when she left here, somebody prove that to me. How Brittany killed her child and how Darren Vince is the innocent one. Someone please Show that to me. People are so upset with Brittany Bowens that they have resorted to lying. When there is no proof that this woman killed a child. She was negligent, yes. But there is proof that she was not here. That her child was alive when she was here. There is proof that Darian Vince was with Malia when she was alive. He was the last person to be seen with Malia. Darian has said in a statement that on the third, on his way to pick up Brittany Bowens, he, his son, and Malia all left together and that he was abducted by three Spanks and they put Malia, his son, and him in the back of the truck. Those come out, those are his words. So how are you people going to say that Brittany Bowens killed the child before she left? When he had, when there was proof that she was alive while she was gone. No one likes a liar. And no one wants to be lied on. This is a very serious case. The likelihood of finding Malia alive is very bleak. And wouldn't you want the people that did this to Malia to be punished, not the wrong people? Deal in facts, not fiction. What I'm telling to you is what's being relayed to me by the news and by the police department and by statements made by the family themselves. This is not what I feel. And a lot of people I notice are going on their own feelings and not dealing with facts. Let's catch these people that harmed this child. And when they are caught, by all means, throw the book at them.